So today we're going to talk about exponent rules and just kind of a refresher of what exponent rules are. Um, but before we do that, maybe we should talk about what an exponent is or remind ourselves what an exponent is. So if I wrote 10 to the third power with this little 3 and a big 10, this is, the 3 is what we call an exponent. So the exponent gives us some special information. It tells us how many times to take what we call the base number, right, which is our 10 here, the big number, and multiply it by itself. So this 10, the 10 is our base, so that's the number we're going to be multiplying by itself. And I wanted, the 3 tells me I want to multiply it by itself three times. So I have 10 times 10 times 10, and when I multiply all that together, I get 1,000. So that's what, if you forgot what an exponent is, that's what an exponent is. And exponents are actually kind of cool because, because they're multiplication, and multiplication has properties of associativity, commutativity, and um, the distributive property also applies, but mostly because multiplication is associative and, or associative and commutative, we can use these properties to come up with some what we call exponent rules. And these are handy. You can get along without them, but um, they are incredibly handy to know and will make math uh, a lot faster for you, especially in algebra. So suppose I wrote 2 to the fifth power times 2 to the third power. Well, if we write out what these are, 2 to the 5th power tells me to take 2 and multiply it by itself 5 times. Okay. And then I'm going to multiply that by 2 to the 3rd power, which tells me to multiply 2 times itself 3 times. And if I count up the number of 2's I have, I can take this whole thing and write it as 2 to some power. Well, let's count them up. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 2 to the 8th power, and if you multiply, you can multiply that out, put that in your calculator, but it's a, it's a fairly, it's a, it's a good sized number, so we're not going to do it. But um, if you see how are 8, how is 8 related to 5 and 3? Well, when we write all these out, we count them up, which is the same thing as adding 5 plus 3, which gives us 8. Let's try another one, maybe a little bit more abstract. We'll throw some x's in there just to make things a little bit more fun. So I have x squared times x to the third. Well, x squared, so any number, this x is just some number, some number to the second power tells me to take that number and multiply it by itself. Um, and then the third power tells me to take that same number and multiply it by itself three times. So if I count how many times I have that number, I have that five times. So again, you can see that I'm counting up the number of x's that I have here, the same way I counted up the number of twos, which is the same thing as taking two and adding it to three. So um, this is actually what we call the product rule for exponents. So the product rule says if I have any number to a power times another number or the same number to a different power, or it could be the same power, I take that number, I can get the answer by taking that number and raising it to the powers added together. So just like here, we had 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 3rd, and I, I, it's the same thing as 2 to the 5 plus 3, which is our 8 that we got when we wrote it all out and counted it up. Same thing here. 2 plus 3 is 5. So this x to the 5th is the same thing as x to the 2 plus 5. Or, excuse me, 2, not 5, but 2 plus 3. Okay, and so that is the product rule. And so next we'll do a couple of examples just so you can see how it works. And, and then we'll talk about the quotient rule after that.